So today we're going to be looking at uh, an Eternal Blue SMB exploit, which was released by Shadow Brokers, the group that purportedly stole a bunch of exploits from the NSA. And we're just going to start out by in-map scanning a local ho or the uh, local subnet to find any hosts that maybe have SMB open. And at the same time, we'll go ahead and start up Metasploit and wait for the in-map scan to finish. So the one host we're interested in right now to scan further is the 165. And we're just going to do a default noisy scan on it. Here we see that uh, the SMB 445 is open, so we'll go ahead and search Metasploit for the Eternal Blue. And here we see two versions. I actually had it in before Metasploit uh, released it, so that's why there's two versions popping up here. So if we go ahead and set our remote host to the 165, which had the SMB open. and set our payload to 64-bit uh, Windows reverse uh, interpreter shell. Go ahead and set our listening host to our local host. And the show encoders here, just for fun to add extra uh, security. verify all of our options and exploit. Here we get a successful message so we go ahead and take a screenshot and go ahead and enter our root directory and open that up and we see a screenshot from the machine that we just exploited. Um, it's a good idea to go ahead and turn off SMB. Uh, you shouldn't have SMB open to the internet. If you do, uh, that should be remedied immediately. 